Hello. Um, I've got the um, AR636 receiver from Spectrum because I did like the setup, the way it could, should be set up by a simple uh, Android iPhone or whatever. Um, so I bought it, but uh, initially I got a lot of connection problems. Um, and I will share my experiences, maybe uh, this might help you. First of all, the A636 is supplied with a standard cable, um, that's the uh, SPMA3080 cable. Right? This is my own label, so normally it's not labeled anyway. It, on, even on the black label, it does not uh, say in the production number or whatever. Just forget this, lab, uh, this uh, connector um, if you're living in Europe, because it's not uh, good enough for the headphones output of uh, an Android device. In Europe it's limited and therefore you got different uh, uh, possibilities. You can get a new cable by Spectrum. They don't give any advertisement on that but um, this is the SPMA uh, 3081 specially for Europe. It says on the label Spectrum and it also says the, uh, it's very small, you have to look very carefully at it indeed. It says the SPMA 3081 um, a label. Um, next, this servo connector in the middle of the lead supplied is reversed. So you look at the colors and you see the black, black and put it in the opposite of each other, right? So that's the best way to connect. I did make a connection before and then now you see um, an error on the screen. That's the connection sign. It says there is no con uh, connection but still it's turning. So, yeah, this means the program has been frozen. You can do whatever you want but it won't connect anymore. So my receiver is not powered up. My phone is not connected. If I use the standard way I'll show you just powering up, powering up the receiver that's what I do. Now it's connected next to it I'll put the connector into the phone volume is getting to a maximum automatically and it does not connect whatever you try It's not enough by simply closing the application, right, on the standard Android way. I did close it. Now going back to the, uh, the programming icon, but it won't connect. You think it does, yeah? It's connected, but it's not. Just look. If I'm going to settings, there's about box. If I click the about box, it should now receive all the settings of the data of the receiver. But you can wait for ages now. The connection and the settings are done when this rotating bars stop. But they won't. The program is frozen. You can try whatever you want. So the option is Pull out the connector. Oh, sorry. Pull out the connector. Pull out the connector. You see the program is frozen? The box is turning again. Power of the receiver. That's it. Go to your settings menu of the phone. Look into the apps. Go to the programmer. And this says in Dutch, um, forced stop. So I'll first shut down, okay, and then forced stop. This also means that the, the icon has been gone. So what I do now is go to the settings again and start up again, right? This does not mean when it's been started the icon is back again 
because it's not. It's gone. Here it is. Put it down on the place I want, to, want it again. And here it goes, right? I just start up the program. Ah, now the icon is solid and still. The best way to connect it now is putting in this one, but immediately after it, power up the receiver. No pause in between, just as less as possible. So, connecting. Power up. Now it's powered up. The icon is still. When I go back to the settings again, in the about box, it's turning. Getting its data from the receiver now. This takes uh, might take a second. And this is bad. So, I'm powering off again because I know I forgot something. This is this shows how crappy in fact this software is. You see now it's frozen again. The disconnection box is rotating where it should be still. So what I'm going to do again all over the same I forced stop power it on again right um, then I go to the uh, to the uh, audio settings and for HCC this brand of phone there is a special equalizer kind of thing that says Beats Audio in the start I mentioned using programs for hiring up the volume programs like a speaker booster or something that might work um, in my case it's sufficient if I put on Beats Audio here it is now I put on Beats Audio now I go to the um, the AS3X here it is put back on the position for the icon here it is start it up volume is max connection status disconnected and it's solid and still now I, I do the same thing again plug in power up you see it's connected the arrows are still uh, solid go to the about box now it should receive look at the beats audio icon at the top where the beats is active as you can see so now it's communicating now the arrows are solid now you have a connection so in this case you can go to the gains or whatever and adjust something uh, put something um, more or less now it's rotating exclamation mark go back and now it's solid again so at this status there is a connection now it does not mind whether you turn the program off yes or no I shut the application down in a normal way go back start the program up again here it goes it still has a connection so this is my tip first of all get the good cable the SPMA 3081 for Europe uh, Spectrum uh, will change it uh, for free or by your local dealer they don't mention it on their website but it's very important second use it uh, the connector reversed so look at the position of the black wire just take it off and reconnect it third if the connection box is rotating your program hangs just kill it really kill it by the application reboot your 
a phone or whatever you do, kill it. Start up the application, put on the headphone connector and immediately afterwards put on the power for the receiver and that should do the job.